I can read that one, but I can't read this one. Beer Pong. Jordy Daniel Clara Maria. Man, Daniel, you're a trash at beer pong. Jordy, you are killing it. He's that college frat guy. What's going on, guys? My name is Jay, a.k.a. The Game Pass Gamer, and today we're going to start our playthrough series of Deliver Us the Moon. Now, this is an action-adventure game with a little bit of puzzle exploration. It just came to Xbox Game Pass recently, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. Let's give it a, uh, let's give it a go here. Just want to remind you guys about the um, giveaway that's happening on the channel. Uh, once I reach 500 subscribers, I will be giving away Xbox Live Ultimate, which is Xbox Live and Xbox Game Pass combined. So you get both of them in one easy code. All right, so all that's required is to be subscribed and hit that notification bell. I mean, notification bell is not really necessary, but if you guys want to know when that video posts of the 500 subscribers, um, then boom, you'll know with the bell. So obviously that's why I require it. So let's check this game out, see how, uh, see how fun it is. There was a time when resources seemed endless. Okay, there's never a time resources are endless. But in They're always infinite, the right? Energy so finite, crisis finite, finite. That's in 10 years, we better. On our world. Global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon, spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements WSA? to harvest okay. and process helium-3. Don't know what that is. I didn't read. I didn't pay attention. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. Yeah, what's up with these acronyms? I mean, I'm in the military time, now, so I love acronyms, but well. it's like three they've already given us. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. 2054. No energy. 34 years. Till no energy. The See, had gone if they had unlimited resources. With a lunar colonist where? Where's, where's those unlimited resources? Without earthly resources to launch a full scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. So we were colonists? But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Okay, like Area 51? Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseen. I'm not trying clear. to stir up pots, but I don't believe we're ever going before. The moon. I shall definitely try. Okay. Oh, this is my awesome spacesuit. These types of games are awesome. I don't know if you guys play the Turing Test, but that's another, I wouldn't say exp exploration game, but it's, it's more of a puzzle Friends game, but it's awesome. Of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. Okay. In other news, the week before... In other news, like that wasn't that big a deal. Has climatologists to climatologists. Of the Is that a real word? As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between so the northern and the south. Okay. Coming. Okay. Yeah, prepare for that. And pass over the World Space Agency's former MPT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted area. This is very... Can I, can I move? Oh my gosh. This, this whole time. I'm wondering why it's so static. Oh, shoot. Inspect this. September 16, 2059. Ground launch sequencer. Launch sequence. So... Uh, read. Okay. So I guess I gotta build this thing. What is this thing? Nothing. These controls are kind of wonky. 
did I toggle that? What, what Hello, are you there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Click. What's her name? Oh. Yeah, I'm getting my spacesuit. Oh, okay. Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please Ground confirm control. radio contact. Please confirm radio contact. Astro tool. Radio WSA? confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to oh, so I'm still on Earth. Rocket. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh shoot, where did I say? Enter the launch facility. Let me see what else is in here. Inspect this. Generates power. Fusion reactor. Receive receiver. Earth. Okay, there's a lot of reading in this game. Is it working yet? All right, let's do some more exploration. Let's see what else we got over here. <clears throat> let's put this a little closer. Oh, okay, let's inspect this. The Moon Man Far Crossing. The brave astronaut ventures to the moon. His mission to explore the lunar expanse and uncover its mysteries. While the road is desolate and the hardships many, he knows that he must preserve to save mankind. Man, this is like a... What are those books? Motivational books? Oh, okay. He just automatically went outside. Oh, here we go. I'm on Mars? Am I Mars? Need to hurry. How do I run? Okay, so LT like zooms me out a little bit. Oh, what is this? Scan. Database. MPT network dish created by Isaac Johns, Johansson transmitted power from the moon to the earth through a network of satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during the 2054 blackout, Claire Johansson has studied her father's work closely in preparation for the Fortuna mission. I collected a piece of scannable information. Well, the game kind of told me to, so that's good. Look at that. Look how easy it is to earn Xbox Game Pass quest. Okay, they didn't hide anything back there. All right. Anything else on this desk? What is this, an old trailer? Oh, I can sprint. I was hitting LT. Can I go into this stuff? No. Oh my gosh. What is this? Nothing? Oh, I could do some CrossFit. Oh yeah, they're using these as chairs. Still, anyway. Gotta stay in shape on the moon, you know? Maybe this isn't the moon. Maybe this is like somewhere in Nevada or something. Oh, here we go. Whoa, it like zoomed into my mask. Flush the toilet? I wish it was that quiet. Oh, I hit flip. That's pretty funny. Why is there no achievement for using the toilet? Ooh, scan this. Elizabeth kept the Johansson family together after her husband kills Isaac. After her husband killed Isaac, assumed a role. Okay, this is, this is gr grammatically wrong. Elizabeth kept the Johansson family together after her husband Isaac assumed... After her... Oh, where am I getting the word killed from? On the role in the Lunar Council. After her death, Claire took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. These must be very important people. Elizabeth Johansson. Man, she was born in 2005. Okay. Alright, WSA. Wait, she wants me to go over here, right? We'll scan this bad boy. Some Russian. Yep, Sputnik. A monument marks the entrance to the Fezinkov Cosmodrome. Like in Destiny. The facility was abandoned until the Fortuna made it at their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. The sign reads, To the Stars. That's pretty cool. Let's go around here, though. Nope. And, man, this camera, I can't even... This is, this is how slow the camera spans. That is... I guess everything moves slower in space or something. I don't know. Oh, 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 elevator. Please don't break on me. Wait, wait, what happened?
Did it work? Oh god, I think I broke it. Yeah. I didn't even see these stairs here the first time. Okay, so I had to manually turn it. How do I get off of here? Oh, I can't be I can't be facing backwards. These camera controls are a little wonky, I'll give it that. All right, here, let's see if this button works. Looks like it does. And we're off. Yeah. How can you monitor that? All right, top floor. Really? I got to press the button to get out. Oh, that's why I cut scene. What was that? What was that? Okay, I'm pretty confused. Like I said before, I know I know acronyms because I'm in the military. But MPT, WSA, I know what WSA is. That's like what we are. We're like NASA, right? But what is... It's still confusing. This definitely reminds me of Destiny with a ghost. He uses you as a flashlight. Um, go over here. Nothing over here. No, oh, oh, there it is. Collect. If power's out, use three five four eight for the door. Three five four eight. Three five four eight. There we go. Three, five, four, eight. Man, they really put that code somewhere. Not hidden at all. Just around the corner. Oh, nice. Got some light up in here. I still don't know. Am I on Earth? Like, I don't... They never explain that, did they? Unless I missed it. Uh... Okay. Okay, I know I'm. Now I know I'm in the WSA, of course. It's like where I live. Space Tech Blackout 2054. What happened to the MPT? Life without MPT a year after the blackout. We invite world-renowned scientists to discuss what would have caused the MPT to remain offline, what might have happened to have lunar colonists, and how humanity should move forward. I what? This must play a part in something, reading all these magazines, because I don't know what they're for. They... Ooh, here we go, something. No! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's go up here. Maybe I need this for something. I need this or something? Can I move this? Can I interact with this at all? Oh, I can jump though, okay. Wait, I came from this way. I went down here. Okay. I can zoom in a little bit with that button. But what is this for? Okay, just a random. A random elevator, I'm not sure what it is. Well, we can't go that way. Can't go that way either. Oh, it's kind of guiding me this way. Objective, MPT network. Oh, I gotta scan this. How to get it working again. <laughs> Determine the secret truth, 25th or blackout, and restore the WT connection. Maria Gonzalez has raised the Fortuna team from ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. It says Moon Hub Pearson Tether Status to the Tombo Hub Tombo has reactor. Who is that guy? Okay, it's too much math, too much E because I'm C squared for me. Um, nope. Okay, here we go. 
We met years ago on the Pearson Space Station. I was relieved from service after the Hugens cryo sleep malfunction. Remember how we talked about my broken ASC? I'm looking for a way to extract this holographic data and hoping you can help me out. Yeah, I remember holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. I specialize more in software, so you should reach out to my colleague, Rolf. Rolf Robertson. He's an excellent mechanic. Hey, they got like a little like uh, iPads here on the station. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is fluxetine, anti -de antidepressants. Okay. Someone must be depressed living up here. I don't blame them. In memoriam, those who lost during the Hyogen malfunction. Hey, we just talked. We just read about that. Don't forget everyone we lost that day. Oh, look at this picture. That's like a real picture they just like put in the game. That's crazy. Okay, what's on this side? It's over here. Um, saving. Do not turn off. Okay. Uh, hello. Anybody here? grab? Oh, it's teaching me to grab. So now, finally. All right, there we go. I moved out of the way. You know, what? don't always go to the mission objective. You don't always go to the mission objective. You gotta look around the room. Find some secret uh, secret squirrel stuff. Like this. Look at oh wait, I just came from that way, never mind. Okay, maybe not this room. Oh wait, we can look down here. Okay, so we're like do like cage fighting. Interesting. We'll just head this way. They got they got a lot of stuff in boxes here. Like, were they planning on moving or were they just like moving in? You know, it's all this like we're running out of resources and supplies, but there is tons of stuff here. Like, what are these? Anyway, all right, we're going to the control center. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. It's like the cafeteria. Honestly. This reminds me of a deployment I went on. This kind of looks like the cafeteria. I can read that one, but I can't read this one. Beer Pong. Jordy, Daniel, Clara, Maria. Man, Daniel, you are trash at Beer Pong. Jordy, you are killing it. He's that college frat guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this? Let's inspect this first. Evacuation notice. Please proceed outside the Feskin, Fezenkoff Cosmodrome facility between September 15th and 16th. Everyone in and around the facility must be ready outside the building at 0500 at the rendezvous. That's weird. So it looks like they were either filming something or pre prepping for the launch. Okay. Oh God. There you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before multiple times. We're good. Got to. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail, remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Interesting. Okay. Again, I'm lost. I don't know who Maria is or who the other person is. It sounds like they're fighting over Isaac. I don't know. We're just learning as we go. This is pretty cool, though. Look at this model right here. Recruited straight out of university, Claire Johansson designed the Taurus rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the blackout. Okay, so Claire is the daughter of Isaac and 
Maria? They're the Johansson? Okay, it's all it's all coming together now. What movie is that from? Okay. One. Oh, is this this is crazy. It's like I think it's like showing me what I need to do. So I'm on ground launch sequencer. Then I'm gonna do that piece and that piece. Wow, there's ten steps to this thing, I guess. I don't know. We're figuring out. What room is that? Oh, stairs. Nothing here. No secretness. Oh, a secret door. That I can't go in. I can't grab any of this stuff. This is just a lot of like exploration. What is what is this? Nothing. I mean, I like all the aesthetics of the of the of the building, but it's isn't it, it kind of sucks when you can't actually explore or like look at anything. Like, what's the point of having all this stuff? I know it's for like realistically, but I like those games where you can walk by and look at everything and open up doors. Like you could open this up and open this up, but I guess there's no inventory in here and no you know nothing like that to put stuff in as fast as possible. Okay. Wait, wait five minutes while I search this whole building first. I mean, I just talked about not having anything open, so I don't know what I'm doing. This kind of looks like the old NASA, you know, space control center. Oh, something red. Can't touch it. Do I literally just press this button to launch the... Oh, maybe right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Do I got to go to each of these things? Like, oh. Huh. Okay. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit lost. She says, go here and launch something. I already went here and nothing can be done. Maybe I got to go to my database. Initiate power reboot inside the control center. Okay. I thought I just did that. Did I not? <clears throat> um, okay, nothing here. Oh. The one time I didn't see it. Rebooting power. Here we go. Well, that was easy. Wait, so her name is Fortuna? I thought Fortuna was like the sp name of the spaceship. All right, let's press this, see what this does. Come on, launch. What? Come on. All right, let's head over here and see what we are finding. Uh, close both fuel valves. Hey, that's what I have on here. Yeah, cool. Um, let me try going back to one of those computers. Okay, nope, not that one. I'm guessing it's up here in this language, like Chrysium. That one's probably for like something. Oh, maybe it's right here. Nope. Oh, that's brain. It's brain power. Cognitum. Where are they? This one? No. Okay. It did open up this outside. I'm guessing maybe I have to go outside here. Alright, you know what? We're gonna... Oh, pff. Can't even do that. Nothing up. Okay, it's gotta be one of these computers. Maybe I'm just missing it somehow. Oh, maybe it's this one, and I gotta like. Um, now, I'm, now I'm really confused. Oh, oh, oh! I said something. Okay, this gotta be this door right here now. 
Oh my god. The door was open the whole time. Okay. I was right. It was outside. I just didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Before I get on that, let me see if I'm missing. Yes, yeah, see? I knew it wasn't on that thing. Oh, can't join the party right now, big guy. Hold on. Hydrogen valves are still open. It has to be closed. Okay, well, isn't that what I'm doing? It's not one on this side? Ah! Climb. Really? I'm in NASA and the ladder breaks? Now, I'm guessing I'm going to have to use this. This right here. Go down here, grab like a, a stupid box or something to stand on. Call it now. There it is. Yep. This is from earlier. Oh. I like that. Ties into the to the earlier part of the game. Let's go back up. And let's move it. Wait, hello. What to say? Let's shimmy it through there. Turn left and turn right. Oh, okay. I do that with the line it up. All right. Oh, oh god. Oh god. There we go. Okay. Uh, lady, I am trying. I got him, all right? Is that it? Is that it? I know. All right, let's go. This way. Here we go. It's launch time. It's launch time. Wait, am I not getting on it? Oh, I'm just priming it, okay. How am I gonna launch it and get on it at the same time? Oh my god, okay, go, go, go. Go, I got a minute. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh god, the wind's pushing me everywhere. Run, you astronaut. Use your training. Use your... Oh, God. They made a maze, really? Why would there be a maze to get there? Run! Run! Go, go, go. Climb. Okay. they gave. I think they gave it too much time. I don't know. Ha-ha. <laughs> I made it. I think so. No, nope, I don't get this button. Oh, I'm Fortuna. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, God, okay. Just like my training flip. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't even know. Ready to extract orbital arm. Um, okay, let's pull that. Don't know what I'm doing. Wait, what? What'd you say? Uh, this has got a button here. Nope. Up here? Nope. Nope.
Oh, cut off when recess. There we go. Got it. Oh, God. A1, A3, B3, A1. A3, B3, B4. Same thing with the gas. Okay. I wonder if this is how it really is in the freaking spaceship. Okay. Quickly release all valves. Noise. Sound suppression. I would hope so. It'd be freaking loud as heck. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Let's do it. Where's the big red button? This one? Oh, this one. Wait, I thought I waited for a countdown. That's cool. The little camera to show us like the bottom view. Oh god. Can my head be turned while we're actually lifting off? That would you guys ever been on mission to space at uh, Epcot in Disney? When you're like in it and you're trying to turn your head and you just like whiplash? How it had to be like this. Oh god. We lost footage. Um Comms, hello? Maria? Um, okay, good. I wonder that, no, that can't happen in real life. You don't like hit a dead spot and you lose like the ability to talk to the command center. Departure from Earth. I wonder what that actually says. Our moon makes Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home something. Oh, what planet is that? Is that Earth? That looks like that looks like a bottom of a sheep. Oh, it's that's Italy right there. See it? See it? No. Okay. Where are they at? Typical. How convenient. I like the play on the word. Title. Launch the rocket. Complete the second stage of the launch sequence. I, did I just do that? No. Okay. Let's see. Second phase. Cut off main engine. Wasn't that like right here? Yes. Okay. Ignite second stage thruster right here. Ready for ignition. Sweet. There I go. Into the wild blue yonder. Just kidding. All right. My itty bitty little self. Okay, I still, okay, I don't understand. Wow, nice. I don't understand where Maria or, or I even forgot her name now. I'm guessing we're for Fortuna based on what a dialogue says and we're going to the moon to get resources and bring them back right that seems plausible deliver us the moon deliver the earth the stuff that we need in the moon because they're low on resources so that was fun that was a nice little nice little intro mission to get the 
get the juices flowing and see what this game's all about. So I had fun with it. Let's see where this loads up next, but yeah, let's watch this real quick. That must be the um, is that the WPT thing that they're talking about. Okay, we're going to leave it here for now, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the first video of the series. I'm going to do a couple more and, and play the whole game and, and see where it leads to. Uh, just remember to subscribe if you want to enter that giveaway. And, uh, you know, until next time, guys, have fun and game on.